All right, what's up guys? We're back in LA again, right outside of the Oruso taco truck. Oruso means the Russian, and you're gonna find out why in this video. But we got some fresh, homemade Tijuana style tacos with some hand breaded, hand tossed tortillas. And I'm about to try it out for you guys. Give you guys another food review and food vlog on our LA taco series. Let's do it. Alright guys, so this is the Al Pastor, the Autobata with bean and cheese. This is the carne asada. So this is the carne asada with cheese and this is the Autobata Al Pastor with cheese. The other one was Ivan's, this one's mine because I'm not a big bean guy, but you know I love cheese so let's taste it. This smells appetizing, looks appetizing, and we're about to put it in our stomachs. These are all the garnishes, the lemon, the salsa. But you know what I like to do first? I always like to try my tacos without anything first to really taste what it is. If you guys can see around us, we're in kind of like an industrial yard, industrial park. This little hole in the wall taco truck is tucked right inside of LA's industrial park. And yeah, I guess it's a good place if you work here on a lunch break and you're trying to get some tacos. So yeah, that's our setting right now, guys. So I'm gonna try the Al Pastor first. Ooh, nice and hot. And if you guys don't know right now, we're in a heat wave. It's like 100 degrees outside. I am not capping at all. It's pretty hot. So I hope these tacos are as hot and delicious as I am. <laughs> Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. oh. You see that cheese pool right there, guys? Oh my goodness. That's, that's pretty delicious. These auto bottom pieces are nice thick pieces of pork you know you can really taste the quality and there's a slight hint of crispiness on the pork but it's, it's still juicy and this cheese right here I think this might be Mexican Oaxacan cheese it is really delicious there's a lot of texture behind it you know what? I'm taking another bite with without the salsa this is pretty good as it is mm, wow. Wow, that cheese is nice and thick. It's like you're eating a pizza mixed with the taco. Yum. But for my last few bites, I'm gonna put a little bit of garnish on there. Give it that extra flavor. So if you guys know me, you guys know that I'm a green salsa type of guy. So I've got to put a little bit on there. Oh, Salsa has a nice thick consistency. It's not too loose. Try it out, guys. Wow, I'm glad I used that salsa, it's really creamy. There has to be some guacamole in there. Mm, yum, and it's not too spicy. See, I'm a green salsa type of guy because I don't do too much spice. And this salsa is perfect for me. Mm. Wow. And in that taco, guys, there's some nice crisp pieces of autobada 
there's a nice lean thick pieces and then there's also those big globs of fat and the adobada there's all types of flavor in that pork it's delicious this is what they're known for which is the tortillas they hand make all of them as you can see i think her name was sylvia i read on an eater article and we found this place from eater and it was actually recommended to me by a fan it has been pretty accurate so far as a source for you know great tacos they haven't steered us wrong yet these tacos are pretty good guys this is a corn tortilla also handmade but they on the weekends which is tomorrow they serve other meats and they also serve handmade flour tortillas for my flour lovers out there but i don't mind the corn tortilla it gives it that extra kick of sweetness that you need but yeah without further ado let's try these carne asada tacos guys Yo, well, we're gonna check this taco out. Nice and fatty, nice and heavy. Check out all this little grease. As you guys saw, we got guac, red sauce, onion, cilantro. I haven't got the beans and cheese with his. I just got cheese, but tell us how the beans taste. Just what the doctor ordered. How is it? Yo. This taco creeps on you. Because you can taste everything. You can taste the beans, the meat, all the freshness, the onion, cilantro, the salsa, the combination of the salsa. Finger licking good. Wow. Similar with the auto bottle taco. These are nice big pieces of steak. Alright, each taco is $3.25. And some would say that's expensive for a taco. But I can see why they charge that much because each taco is filled with love and quality. These pieces of meat are really big. I believe this is chuck steak. And it's nice and marinated. You get a little hint of the flame grill of the steak. But you also can taste the marination in there. Yeah, let's put some onions on there. Cilantro. And douse it with a little bit of guacamole sauce. I really like this guacamole sauce, guys. Or this green salsa. Pretty delicious. Finish off this taco. Mm. I can't get over how great this combination is with the cheese and the hand breaded tortilla. It's almost as if the cheese is fused with the tortilla, guys. You can taste the quality on, on this cheese. It's not your regular craft single cheese. I'm pretty sure this is Oaxacan cheese or some type of special cheese because really thick and delicious all right guys cheers the last bite always the saddest bite see that's what i love about la we're in a little hole in the wall not gonna lie it looks a little bit grungy but these tacos you know are some of the finest i've had and you can find the best tacos anywhere food everywhere in every part of the city these tacos are really quality guys they're amazing. Definitely recommend them to anyone. So if you guys like this video, like it. Comment down below where you should try next. And subscribe for more food vlogs.